What's good guys, this is Unjolly Ranchers, diving into the shadows of Life's Untamed Tales. Today's story is more of a creative one that I almost got caught for. Now, this story takes place back in 2016 when I was just 14 years old. This is around the time I really got into smoking weed, building my own bongs, and meditating. It was just a day like any other in my small mountain town, chilling in my room, listening to music, but instead of playing Black Ops Zombies like I usually would, I was ordering a shitty computer in the attempts of gaming on it. Sadly, the PC could only really run Borderlands 2, but it was nice having a cheap desktop. This was the year when I actually started preparing for my YouTube journey, learning about OBS and other softwares, but the YouTube thing didn't do so great. I only posted one video called The Effects of Drinking Bong Water. Surprisingly though, I looked at it a few weeks ago and it kind of blew up. Having 7,000 views and a few comments like, you have a great voice and if this dude put COD gameplay in the background, he'd be famous. So you know, that's exactly what I did. Anyways, back to the story. So having got a new PC, I no longer needed the half-built tower from 2008 my grandpa gave me. Now this will come into play later. So towards the end of the day, I felt like smoking. I opened up my desk drawer, grabbed my homemade pipe, then reached for my bag of weed. Sadly enough, it was just full of stems, but in the corner of the Ziploc baggie lay three little seeds. So I hopped on my browser and looked up how to grow weed, and how to grow indoors. After gaining the knowledge needed, I started thinking, how can I do this without my mom finding out? So I opened up my closet and made a plan but came to the conclusion I'd get caught. I mean, what if my mom were to go put my shirts away and walks into three little weed plants? I'd be grounded worse than Butters ever was. So sitting at my desk, I had a great idea, looking at this old PC tower. Now, I knew I'd have to start the flower process at a young age, but I had to try. So I then took out all the internals except the fan in the back, went out to my dad's shop and grabbed an extra metal hose for the dryer, taped it over the fan vent, and then threw the other side out of the window. Then I grabbed a lamp and put it inside the top right corner of the PC, ran the wire out the back where it should have been, then put aluminum foil everywhere inside the case. Now that I had my setup ready, I started germinating the seeds and went to bed. The next day, after I got home from school, the three little seeds sprouted, so I moved them into a paper towel and put them back inside the PC case. Now, to avoid suspicion, I threw my new desktop under my desk and made it look like the wires were hooked up to my growing PC. It also helped that my mom didn't know I got a new one. So two days later, the seeds had either popped the caps off or were super close, so I grabbed three solo cups, filled them with dirt from the garden, and planted my new babies. Everything was going great. They were growing like fucking weeds. Sadly, a month later, one of them had grown so big that it was only a couple inches away from this old school light bulb and ended up burning a little bit. So I replaced the bulb and cut off the dead leaves. Sadly in the end, she didn't make it, so she became nutrients for the other two girls. Now, a week later was a really exciting day. The two ladies who survived were so big that they had run out of growing room. So I changed the daylight cycle and started the flowering process. As a reward, being a dumb kid, I put up some RGB lights inside their house and turned them to dark purple. Then looked up music that would help plants grow. So I'd play that music for my plants every night. Now, fast forward a few weeks, maybe a month, they started to bud, and the smell guys, the smell. I had to do something. Even though most of it went outside, my room still stunk a bit. So I grabbed my hot glue gun and sealed every inch of that case after drilling a one inch wide hole over each of the plants and putting a rubber plug inside the hole. That way I could still water my girls. I couldn't see them very well anymore, so I just tracked the growth by looking at a couple nugs. My plants were almost ready a month or two later, Somehow, I didn't get caught up until this point. My mom was definitely suspicious I was smoking weed though. So, one day when I got home, I found my mom was already there. She had gotten off work early just to try to search my room when I wasn't home. My soul sank, man. I was so scared. She turned to me and said, Why does your room smell like pot? Now, I couldn't let her take my gorals. So I told her, You caught me. I've been smoking a little weed. Now, she had looked almost everywhere, standing right beside my computer with the plants inside, she sniffed around and asked me, So, where are you keeping your weed? I then opened my hidden drawer and handed her my homemade pipe and a little bag that had maybe a gram in it or so. As I was grabbing the bag from inside, I opened it without her seeing so it makes sense why the smell was so strong, and said, Shit, I forgot to close it. She gave me the stink eye and said, yeah, that's one way to get caught. 
Then she grabbed the pipe and the weed, then looked around my drawer and found a paper or two. She took everything out and said, is this everything you have? So I looked her in the eye and said, yes ma'am, that's all my weed that I have to smoke in my pipe. I mean, technically it wasn't a lie. I couldn't smoke my plants yet. She then said I was grounded for two weeks. I just said, okay, faking a look of sadness. She then took my phone and said, you can keep your computer for schoolwork, but no phone, no hanging out with friends, and give me your PS3. So you know I happily gave it to her, knowing my girls were safe and I could still play Borderlands 2 on my shitty computer under my desk. And then she left my room saying, I'm disappointed in you. Now, I was a little sad to hear those words, but I knew that she'd smoked weed in the past, so like, it wasn't a big deal. I then threw a towel under the crack of my door and ran over to my babies, popped one of the caps out and said, I'll always keep you safe babies, I lost my weed in my pipe, but it was all worth it, you guys are good. So the girls were safe, I was grounded but I didn't care, because I knew harvest was only a week or two away. So anyways, those next two weeks were the most anxiety filled weeks of that year, racing to my room every day, but lucky enough, they were always there. Now after those two weeks passed, it was time, finally time. So I detached everything from my computer tower, threw some ziplock bags, some copper wire, and a tarp in my backpack, and started walking to the park in the middle of town. Now, this wasn't a normal park with play equipment, it was more like a tiny road that drove through a small wooded area. This was the place I'd have airsoft wars and built a fort hidden from view of everyone. So carrying the PC up through the woods, I arrived at my fort, stepped inside and set down the PC. Excitement and sadness filled my mind. Part of me didn't want to hang these plants to dry, I mean, I loved them, but I knew it was something I had to do. They were ready, and it was their time. I found myself giving a little speech something like, On this day, I, unjolly ranchers, make teenage history. I am the first of my friends to successfully grow you two beautiful plants. I love you girls, and will treasure these memories forever with every toke I take. You will be with me. A little cringy, but like, I was a weird ass kid without many friends because I didn't fit in with basically anyone. So I wanted to honor these girls, they were my babies. And with that, I grabbed Mary, sadness in my eyes. I grabbed her by the stem, pulled her out by her roots, and tied a piece of copper wire to her, then hung her out to dry, then did the same with Jane. After hanging them up, I threw a tarp over the roof of my fort and set some rocks on top so they'd stay dry. I sat down and looked at them one last time, then smelled them and started walking home. I ended up just leaving my PC behind and setting up my new one in place of the old Crow computer. Fast forward two weeks later, I went back up to the forest, collected the buds off the stem, and trimmed them up while listening to So High by Wiz Khalifa. I finished up, bagged them, and pulled out another pipe I made, loaded a bowl, and enjoyed the fruits of my labor. The drag was smooth, and I felt so proud. Now, if you guys are wondering how much weed you'll get off two plants growing inside a computer case, it's roughly two eighths, maybe give or take a gram. Now guys, please don't do anything I did in this story. Marijuana is bad. Don't do pot, it's bad for you. And you can get in a lot of trouble, arrested. Uh, yeah, also, don't lie to your mom about shit. Just be honest, uh, I had to learn that the hard way. Anyways my friends, that is the time I grew weed inside my house at 14 years old for free, using only an old computer case and random shit around the house. The moral to this story is, you're capable of anything you put your mind to. Never give up on your dreams no matter how crazy they are. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you guys have ever grown weed before, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more crazy life stories. Stay tuned for more on Jolly Tales. Until next time. Peace.